Welcome back to Creative Manifestation. Today, I wanted to talk about what I did with my hair. So I, in my previous video, said I was going to potentially put color on the bottom of my hair, and I did. What I ended up doing was just going through some of these brassy parts of my hair and putting dark the dark color on that matches my natural color. Um, because I have a mix of salt and pepper hair. And so I went through kind of, you know, section by section and just put some color on those brassy parts, just breaking it up so it looks more blended with my natural hair. And I left some of my highlights, as you can tell, because I wanted to to have it blend a little more you know just some I pulled it through I didn't foil it or anything I just kind of took you know pulled it through with my hands and brushed it on painted it on and small pieces and that is how I blended it and I think it makes a huge difference <laughs> um I'm gonna pop in a picture of that video that I filmed so you can see the difference of my hair. Of how better blended it looks. What a little bit of low lights will do for blending. So that's all I did. And, you know, I'll probably still have to tone these highlights from time to time as it's growing out. If I want to keep the brassiness down. Um, and, you know, color does fade out too. So that probably will happen where I did the low lights you know that color will probably fade but for now I really like it I'm really happy with it and I just feel like it looks so much better with just those little bit of low lights in my hair <laughs> so anyway it's a great solution if you have hair similar to mine to just get a little bit of low lighting put in the bottom where your brassy color is and just have it match, you know, your natural color. I used a three, I used color I still had in my house. But I just used it. It's like ashier, an ashier based three and an ashier based six. So I mixed those two together. So it's probably like a four or five. So that's what I did on my hair. And as you can see, I did not touch the top at all. This is all my natural color. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I meticulously tried to not touch any of the color any of my natural color but you know it's possible I got some strands in there so you have to be really careful if you're doing it yourself or if you're getting it done by someone but I think it just makes such a difference in the blending so that's what I did and I recommend it if you you know are looking to blend your hair to just break up some of that brassy stuff with the low lights and then you could tone the rest if you don't want to get rid of the lighter pieces. If you're interested in any other hair blending tips for your gray grow out, check out my $2 eight page PDF in my buy me a coffee link below. There's also some emotional tips in there to help you with your gray grow out. And I'll see you in the next video.